Welcome to low back and core. This is one of my favorite practices. It includes lots of plank poses to help build your core strength and lots of standing poses to help build your lower back strength. Many times people don't realize how closely those go hand in hand. And so we'll work on strengthening those areas. All we'll need today is a tennis ball. See you on your mat. From a nice, comfortable seated position, we'll move to our backs. First, move into one hip and then bring in the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze in and take some rolls until you get to your back. Keep the feet flat on the earth. We're just gonna start to warm up our low back by pulling first our left knee into our chest slowly and release. Releasing the psoas here and then take the right knee to the chest and release. Exhale, knee in and release. We'll take the right knee in now and release. One more time on each side. And the right knee comes in and release down. A nice gentle twist to start. The arms come out to a T or to goddess arms. Lift the hips up two inches to your right. The knees fall gently to the left. Your head can turn over your shoulder and just breathe, releasing the low back here. Begin to inhale, lift the knees up. We'll lift your hips to the left now. The knees draw to the right. Might feel a little bit of a crack in the low back. That's perfect. Look over the left shoulder and breathe as we release the low back through this twist. Inhaling back through center. We get to bring the knees into the chest again and roll ourselves back up to a nice comfortable seat. Coming into easy pose, make some space for yourself. Make sure you can feel your sits bones on the earth by moving that flesh away. Bring the navel into the spine. Reach those arms up as you inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Just reach the arms long. We're releasing the low back here. Inhale, press the ground away as we lift back up to seated. Take a switch in the legs now. We'll take that inhale, lift up once again. Navel tucks into the spine as we reach forward, releasing the low back. Inhale, begin to bring the knees to one side. We move ourselves into tabletop. From tabletop, move yourself into high plank position. From this place, Exhale, lift the hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Taking a modified down dog, just shorten the stance just a little bit. Reach your left hand to your right ankle or shin. Look under that right shoulder and feel the navel tuck into the spine as you twist. Let the heels press into the earth. Let your forefinger on your right hand press down so that forearm presses forward. Inhale, bring that left hand back down. Exhale, switch it out. Right hand comes to the shin, ankle, wherever is comfortable. Look under that left shoulder. Again, press down through the forefinger knuckle so that you can feel a little lift in your hand, in the arch of your hand. Pressing down through the heels to protect your joints. Inhale, back through center. We're in downward facing dog once again. Taking a nice bend in those knees. Take what you need to get to the top as you inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold it out. Inhale, lift all 10 toes. Press down through all four corners of the feet. Let the toes lower down, lift the heels. 
Let the heels lower, lift the toes, press down through the four corners of the feet. And then once again, lower the toes, lift the heels, remembering our foundation here. And then we just lower the heels down. Exhale, fold it out. Inhale to half lift, that right leg reaches up, the pinky toe faces down. From here, we're working on our balance and maintaining core stability. Take a bend in that left knee, but keep that right leg lifted and straight, and release. Take another bend and straighten. And this time we bend, let your right foot lightly drop back. Bring your hands to the top of the thigh for high lunge, but bring your hands to your chest. The hands come to heart center. That right hip reaches forward, the left hip reaches back. We wanna feel all, all four corners of our feet pressing down. Lift all five toes to notice that, and then lower those down. The navel tucks into the spine as we inhale. Exhale, bring that knee to lift. You're gonna be in a balancing pose now. Inhale, bring it back to high lunge. We'll take this two more times. Balance on that left foot as the knee comes up and then release. One more time, that right knee lifts and we move back to high lunge. From here, the back heel turns to a 45 degree angle. We let the heel match up to the front foot. We reach those arms out long. Straighten the front leg, reach the arms up. We're moving into triangle pose. So squeeze the muscles into the bones by engaging the quad muscle. The navel tucks into the spine. We reach the right hip back. That left hand comes to the shin. The right arm reaches up. The shoulders are stacked. Triangle pose. Inhale, bring those hands back through center. Turn back over that shoulder. Step the right foot forward to mountain pose. Inhale, the arms sweep up. Exhale, fold it out. Inhale to halfway lift, press into the shins. Navel tucks into the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, this time the left leg reaches up. That pinky toe faces down. We are engaging that navel into the spine once again. Take a bend in the right knee and straighten. Take another bend and straighten. One more bend, let this left foot draw back. Use your hands on the top thigh to lift yourself up to high lunge. Make space for yourself and make sure that knee is tracking over the ankle, the hands come to press in toward the midline. So the engagement here in our hands helps us with our balance. What also helps is by making sure those hips are in nice alignment as we reach that right hip back and the left hip forward. The navel tucks into the spine as we inhale. Exhale, bring that knee to lift. We're in a balancing standing pose. Inhale, release. Exhale, step it forward and balance. Inhale, release. And then one more time. Lift that knee up. And then release it back. Let the back heel come to a 45 degree angle. Let your front leg begin to straighten. The arms sweep up. Engage the muscles to the bones once again. You should be able to lift all 10 toes and still find engagement in the legs. The left hip reaches back. The right hand touches the calf. You lift the left arm up. The shoulders stack on top of each other. We notice our navel tucked into the spine and we breathe. Triangle pose is such a great pose for your feet, low back, to work out any imbalances that you might have as a result of your day-to-day -day activities. Take a bend in that front knee once again. Hands come back to the heart. Turn over your shoulder. We're back in that high lunge position. The hands come down under the shoulders. We suck the foot back. Plank pose. So Women's Health Magazine says that if you can hold a plank for three minutes, you're in optimal health. So we're actually gonna work on that today. First, I'll show you an option. You can be in your plank on your knees here. Just maintain that angle in the torso. 
this is the modified version of your plank position. You can always come here if you're dealing with any low back pain or if you're building the strength in your core. We'll go ahead and get started in high plank. Those heels reach back to the back of the room. We're going to take 30 second intervals in different plank variations starting now. Navel tucked into the spine. This is a great place to incorporate a mantra to get your mind off of all this. So a lot of times when we have low back pain, there's a sense of not feeling safe and grounded. Moving into our low plank, so come to forearm plank, come to those forearms. Your heels are pressing back into the back of the room, navel tucked into the spine. Those elbows are pressed under the shoulders. So back to that low back thing. There's a mantra that you can use to help heal any of that energetic pain that you might be feeling. You can say, I trust the process of life. I am safe. Another breath here. And then press into that right hand. Lift up to high plank once again. The heels are pressing back. The shoulders are pressing up toward the sky. And your hips are right about shoulder height as well. Heels pressed back. I am safe. I'm supported. I am strong. You can even have your knees down. Whatever you need. Don't let your head be too heavy, so you want to keep that in line with our shoulders and spine. Moving into low plank once again, our second round. The left arm comes down and then the right. Re-engage that core. Make sure that there's no dip in the low back. The heels press into the back of the room. And we come back to our breath. We come back to this building the strength in the core so that we can face life's challenges. Notice where the mind goes. Can you bring it back to the breath? Notice the shakes. This is where the strength comes in. From forearm plank, we're moving into our last minute of this plank sequence. The right hand presses down. The left hand presses down. Make sure you don't dump into the low back. Keep the heels pressing away from the crown of the head. And notice what happens to your head. Are you sinking it down? Or are you keeping it nice and in alignment with the shoulders? And we breathe. Notice the hands pressing down evenly through the forefinger knuckle. Come back to the breath, navel tucked into the spine. You're so strong. For our final 30 seconds, we will actually be dropping back and forth from forearm plank to high plank. Starting now, the right forearm down, the left forearm down. The right hand presses down, the left hand presses down. The left forearm down, the right forearm down. The right hand presses down, the left hand presses down. Right forearm, left forearm. Left hand, right hand. Right forearm, left forearm. Right hand, left hand. And one more. Left hand, left forearm down, right forearm down. Left hand presses down, right hand presses down. Hold it here. Now the knees lower down and take rest in child's pose. Child's pose is such a great release for the low back. Either the knees press it in toward each other or you can have the knees spread out nice and wide. Take a moment to feel into both of these actions and you make a decision. We'll take three deep breaths here. Breathing into the back body. Your arms are stretched long and those fingertips are pressed into the earth to make this more of a dynamic stretch. Inhale, come to seated. Slowly move to one hip and then the other. Swing the legs in front. 
Bring those knees back into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze as you roll yourself onto the mat. Take a little massage. The soles of the feet come to the earth. Moving into bridge lifts. This is one of my favorite poses for anyone that says they have low back pain. We press the heels into the earth. We lift first our hips and then low back, mid back. Exhale, lower from the top of the spine to the hips. Inhale, lift that navel tucks into the spine. Exhale, lower. The quads are turned on as we lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Practice squeezing your butt cheeks at the top. And then lower down. Inhale, lift. Squeeze. Practice squeezing your quads at the top. And then lower. And this time, practice squeezing your outer hips closer to the midline. And then lower down. And then last one. Take what you need. Lift. Hold it here. And then slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, we lower down. Getting into our side core, our obliques. We're going to reach for our left heel with our left fingertips. And then back through center. Take it over to your right heel and back through center. Left, center, right, center. And continue here. Navel tucked into the spine, low back pressing into the earth. Take one more on your left side, one more on your right, and meet with your shoulders down. Reach for your ball. And I'm smiling now because this is like really good, but it's going to be a little painful, maybe. We're going to bring this, our bodies into a twist. We're going to take this ball right to our piriformis. So this is going to be a really great release for your low back. So first, take the hips over to the right, just like we did before. But this time, we take the ball right to our side. The knees fall over to your left. And then, if it feels OK, you can turn your head to the right. Option to move the hip in a little circle here, micro circle, left and right, to massage that area. Really important to breathe here. I want to address what I meant by pain. So this is going to feel intense. If you do feel a sharp pain or stinging pain, then don't do it, of course. But you want to feel a release here. So that means breathe. That means let the tension go by falling into that space. Now lift those knees up through center. Let the ball massage around your sacrum here. We'll lift those hips up over to the left about two inches so that we can find that ball, the tennis ball, right at our piriformis once again. The knees draw over to your right. If it feels okay, you can let your head turn over to your left. Take some micro movements to massage this little muscle here that connects those huge muscles in your glutes. And also, is a very key factor in releasing your low back. Come back to the breath. Another breath here. And back through center, let that tennis ball glide once again on the low back. And then, for our Shavasana, We'll actually keep our knees bent. If you like to take your full Shavasana with your body stretched long, that's perfect. But if you have low back pain, you might not feel as comfortable in Shavasana. So what you'll do is keep those knees bent. Bring the knees together. And another variation of your Shavasana, take your left arm over your right and give yourself a little squeeze. Come back to that mantra that we came up with earlier. I'm supported. I have everything I need. And just breathe.
Take a switch of your arms as you envision yourself nice and strong, taking on all responsibilities with ease. Deepen the breath, release the arms and reach that left arm overhead. Turn onto your left side into a fetal position. Really squeeze in. As you press up, tuck that navel into the spine, that core is super engaged. Come to a comfortable seat. We'll seal our practice, bringing our hands to heart center in honor of showing up on our mat today to build that core strength and stability and to release our low back. Bring those arms out long, the fingertips play wide. We send love into the universe, this sense of peace and stability. We bring our hands back through the heart and we end with a word that just means I recognize you and I see you. We are one. Namaste.